Now let's take a look at the triple warmer meridian or the Sanjiao meridian. So the triple warmer or Sanjiao begins on the uh, ring finger at the lateral corner of the ring finger um, and it travels up across the back of the hand, across the back of the wrist, right? It's uh, similar to the gallbladder meridian. The gallbladder meridian covers the side of the head, the side of the body, the side of the leg. Triple warmer meridian covers the side of the arm, the side of the neck, and also a bit of the side of the head that the gallbladder misses out on. So between the triple warmer and the gallbladder meridian, we're covering the lateral aspect of the body. So the triple warmer meridian from the ring finger across the back of the hand, the back of the wrist, Sanjiao 5, a very important point. We'll come back to that in a minute. Through here, Sanjiao um, 10 is at the um, just above the olecranon. Then there's 11, 12, and 13. Sanjiao 14 is the rear eye of the shoulder. So uh, we've seen um, that if we grab the shoulder here, if we actually, if we ask her to raise her arm a little bit, straight out like that, that's great. We can actually see those eyes of the shoulder almost um, uh, making themselves evident, places where we can fit our fingers right in there. So this points here, this is Sanjiao 14, is on the back eye of the shoulder, very good point for shoulder joint pain. And Sanjiao 15, um, just behind um, the gallbladder 21 comes in here, and then Sanjiao 16 on the back of the sternocleidomastoid, Sanjiao 17 under the ear, 18, 19, 20, and 21 as we come in front of the ear. So let's needle a few of these points and uh, describe them a little bit more carefully, but keeping the in mind that the triple warmer meridian is going to treat pain along the lateral aspect of the arm, and again, lateral aspect of the head and the neck. So looking a bit more closely at these points, uh, triple warmer one, triple warmer two, if I ask the, the, if you ask the uh, patient to make a slight fist, triple warmer two is in the, um, is between the fourth and fifth uh, metacarpal phalangeal joints, ju just on the anterior side, I'm sorry, on the um, distal side, and on the proximal side is triple warmer four. Three, so it's triple warmer, one, triple warmer, two, triple warmer, three, triple warmer, four. If we follow this line going towards the uh, wrist, when we come to the wrist crease, we come to triple warmer four. Um, it's either on the la on the uh, ulnar side of this tendon, or um, in the deepest hollow on the back of the wrist. My teacher, Dr. So, always said, go to the deepest hollow on the back of the wrist. It's a very good point for local. Um, pain in the wrist, carpal tunnel and the like. Now Sanjiao 5 is two sun up from um, Sanjiao, uh, Sanjiao 4 from the wrist crease in the middle of the back of the uh, uh, of the arm, just proximal, two sun proximal to the wrist crease. Um, Sanjiao 5 is uh, just opposite pericardium 6, which is two sun up from the wrist crease here. They are the uh, pericardium 6 is ne is uh, Neguan and Sanjiao 5 is called Weiguan. This is the inner gate and the outer gate. Two very powerful points, both of which are associated with the extraordinary meridians and used quite commonly. Sanjiao 5 is one of the control points for pain on the lateral aspect of the body. So Sanjiao 5 is a, a common point, commonly treated. Let's just put a needle in there to show you um, the needling of that point. Again, needled uh, perpendicular to the skin, uh, needling depth between a half and three quarters of an inch. Okay. Triple warmer five. Triple warmer Sanjiao five. Triple warmer Sanjiao six is one sun, is three sun up from the wrist crease. And then we have triple warmer seven, triple warmer eight, triple warmer nine, triple warmer ten shows up at the um, just above the olecranon, a good point for needling for um, elbow pain. Um, triple warmer eleven, twelve, and thirteen as we go up the back, kind of the the, the back lateral side of the arm, not quite 
um, where the small intestine meridian travels, but a little bit more um, uh, posterior lateral. Right? We end up at triple warmer 14, which is in this rear eye of the shoulder. Very good point for shoulder pain. And then triple warmer 15. Um, triple warmer 15 is just posterior to gallbladder 21. Gallbladder 21 is at the top of the trapezius, and triple warmer 15 is in the middle of the trapezius, one sun posterior to the highest point. So right here is triple warmer 15. And again, triple warmer 15, like gallbladder 21, we need to watch our angles and make sure that we're not coming close to the pleural space. We'll insert that needle at a um, perpendicular, I'm sorry, a uh, transverse oblique angle, right? Triple warmer 16 is on the posterior aspect of the sternocleidomastoid, um, level with the Adam's apple. Triple warmer 17 is just under the earlobe in here, also very good for ear problems. Um, uh, 18, 19, and 20 come around the ear, ending with the final point on the triple warmer meridian, which is triple warmer 21, which is just uh, anterior to the most superior point on the tragus. And that is the triple warmer meridian.